hello guys so here's another video um, and I'm today I'm going to talk about firmware firmware it's in the it's a very important thing to understand what it is and and I'll explain that to you in, the, in this video like you know how what does it do what does firmware mean and give you an explanation of um, where it's found etc like you know what I'm saying What's its purpose? And what does it do? So, from so let's begin. So, firmware is is a type of software that's embedded directly into a piece of or etched into a piece of hardware on the motherboard. It operates without going through APIs, the operating system. Or device drivers provided that the, the instructions and guidance for the device to communicate with other devices or perform a set of basic instructions tasks and functions as intended without the firmware most of the basic devices would not function that is why it is often stored on a read-only memory on a read-only memory or ROM chip so that that is to ensure that it does not get erased by accident whilst this is the reason why and the reason for the uh, for it to be why it's installed uh sorry stored on a rom chip is because it needs to be closer to the to the metal of the device if that makes sense so firmware comes in various complex com complexities and can be found in simple devices like keyboards hard drives to more complex ones like gra graphic cards and bios or basic input output system in a android os or operating system the firmware is different depending on the manufacturer that is it is operating software is device specific when you turn a device when a device is powered on the firmware is the first part to run hold on let me see if i can firmware meaning diagram join Diagram. So when our device is powered on, firmware is the first part to run and start sending instructions to the device's processor to execute. If a device is a, as simple as a keyboard, the firmware does not stop working as there is no software to replace it. However, if in more complex devices such as PCs, laptops, tablets, there are often multiple firmware sets that interact to achieve a common goal like load the operating system. Regardless of, of the type of device, firmware can only work with a basic or low level binary language known as machine language. While firmware's code could be written in a high level language for ease and versatility it needs to be translated into a low level language before getting etched into the device the same firmware cannot run on processors it has it was not designed for as different processors can only identify certain instructions if a device's firmware were, were to get corrupted during an update for example it cannot be fixed as there is no way to communicate with the machine to install the replacement so i don't know if you guys have a lot, have the experience of updating your bios and you know other firmware running other firmware updates god forbid if you install the wrong updates wrong bios updates or you know you end up you know installing like you know something that's that can corrupt you know, or 
um, your firmware or software that doesn't sit well with your computer, it can end up causing damage, sin, which is irreversible, sin. So, uh, when you run any um, BIOS updates on your computer, make sure you go on the website and find out your BIOS version and go on the BIOS version on your on the manufacturer's website and ask questions. See, ask, tell them, you can send them an email, say this is what you want to do. Can I go ahead and do it? I'm saying, you know, or if you're not sure, just leave it to a professional. I'm saying, you know, but if you're in a tech support role, but do your research, like I said, like go on the manufacturer's website, refer to the uh, notes, I'm saying, on the manufacturer's websites, I'm saying, like the guides and stuff, you know, how to run updates, I'm saying, and normally the big manufacturers have uh, different tools, like, you know, I'm saying, they have uh, software, specialized software, like Dell has Dell Command, HP has Support Assist, Lenovo has Vantage, I think, you know, I'm saying, so different manufacturers have different uh, pro uh, software you can download, applications which help run, you know, I'm saying, BIOS updates and uh, other firmware updates as well, so... That's more newer laptops, I'm saying, nowadays. So, originally firmware was strictly written on ROM chips that allowed it to be cheap to manufacture and ensured it did not get deleted or tampered with. But a programmable read-only memory chips were also used and allowed for a wider array of firmware, but using ROM and PROM or PROM, I think that's how you pronounce it, to store firmware means that when a device firmware becomes outdated, it cannot be updated, only replaced. Firmware differs from drivers in that firmware is what instructs the device how to operate and the driver is the software that acts as a messenger between the operating system and the hardware. So it's in often people like you like what i just read out so firmware differs from the drivers in that the firmware is what instructs the device how to operate and the driver is the software that acts as a messenger between the operating system and the hardware so these are instructions firmware is what instructs the device saying how to operate as technology advanced advanced more rapidly firmware started becoming outdated sooner so Whereas before hardware got worn down, manufacturers switched to something called um, erasable programmable read-only memory chips, which allowed for firmware updates, but they were expensive to manufacture and time-consuming. So firmware companies or manufacturers eventually moved, evolved to use flash memory chips as they were cheap and easy to write and write, rewrite on. So lastly, but not uh, so... Uh, some of these three levels of firmwares so depending on where it's stored and the complexity of its functionality firmware has three levels so there's low level firmware high level firmware and subsystems so first of all low level firmware this level of firmware is stored on non-volatile memory chips such as rom prom or prom also known as one-time programming programmable memory and programmable logic array or PLA structures because low level firmware is often stored in read only chips that cannot be rewritten or updated it is considered an intrinsic part of the hardware high level firmware this firmware is used with flash memory chips to allow for updates it often has more complex instructions than low level firmware making it closer to software than hardware last one Number three, subsystems. A subsystem is a device or unit that is a sem semi-independent part of a larger system. Because its firmware level has its micro code embedded in the flash chips, CPUs, and LCD units, it's similar to high-level firmware. It often resembles its own device. BIOS modems and video cards are usually made to be easy to update as their technology rapidly evolves but firmware and storage devices like hard drives usb flash drives often gets overlooked that is because storage devices functionalities is limited and straightforward making it unnecessary to update them as often firmware is integral 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 
piece of the tech puzzle it is what makes the computer go without it hardware devices would wouldn't know how to do their jobs do their job so that's what firmware means and uh, I hope I've explained this to you uh, so basically firmware it's to sum it up uh, it's a uh, Without without firmware, you know what I'm saying, uh, the hardware devices won't won't know what to do, how to do their job. So this this gives provides them with instructions, you know I'm saying basic instructions which they need to function, you know, so that's firmware, you know. So thank you for watching this video, and I'll be back shortly with another one. Thank you. Bye.